in the earlier session we have seen about the what is the two current interruption method for your circuit breaker that is one is your high resistance method another is your low resistance or current zero interruption that is this current zero interruption is usually it is applied only for your ac circuit breakers where you are trying to quench the arc at natural zero okay in this current zero interruption method you have two types okay so here one is your recovery rate theory another is called as your energy balance theory so this recovery rate theory is also called as a slippian theory and this energy balance theory is called as your cases theory so when we say it as a circuit breaker the circuit breaker is going to consist of your fixed contact and the moving contact when it is going to be moved apart in order to isolate one part of the circuit so it is not that immediately the contact gets separated here a arc is going to be formed so this arc is going to be a combination of your ionized gases between these fixed and moving contact so this arc should be interrupted or extinguished as soon as possible here in this slippian theory so whenever you are going to have the arcing so whenever the contacts are open so the main criteria is that the arc has to be interrupted as soon as possible how you could do this so whenever the arcing is there you are going to quench the arc pulling medium to quench the arc and it should be done as soon as possible so as to avoid the damage okay so in this case what we are going to do either i can remove the particles ionized particles from the path so that the resistance of the arc gets built up that is the dielectric strength gets built up in the case the arc will get extinguished as soon as possible okay when i say it is i am building up the arc resistance it is nothing but i am trying to remove the ionized particles from the path by some means either you can you you can uh, either it, uh, neutral it, uh, the ionized particles can be combined to form a neutral molecule by flowing the cool air or oil or it can be that you can just blast the air so that the ionized particles are removed from here and as a result arc resistance is built up or the dielectric strength is built up or in other words you can say it as a recovery rate is built up in that case the arc will be quenched as soon as possible so when you say it as a recovery rate theory it is nothing but if the dielectric strength whatever the dielectric strength you are going to give if this dielectric strength is going to be greater than your restriking voltage okay so if i am if i am not going to give any arc quenching medium it will again restrike again but i am going to give the arc quenching medium either it can be oil or sf6 or air in that case whenever the dielectric strength is going to be greater than your restriking voltage then it results in the extinguishing the arc okay suppose so this is the graph which shows that arc extinguishing phenomenon here the dielectric strength is more than the recovery voltage in that case the arc will get extinguished suppose if if it is going to be the vice versa if the restriking voltage is going to be more than your dielectric strength in that case it will again restrike and it will take one more half cycle to quench the arc when it is at current zero is this clear so if the dielectric strength is going to be greater than your restriking voltage the arc will get extinguished and if the restriking voltage is going to be greater than your uh, dielectric strength vice versa then in that case the arc will persist okay so the rate at which the dielectric strength is getting recovered with respect to your restriking voltage that is called as your recovery rate theory now we will move on to your cases theory or your energy balance theory so this is a graph please be very clear here it has been plotted with respect to power versus your time okay it is not uh, drawn with current versus your time because you know that the waveform gets quenched at every current zero every half cycle you are going to quench the arc so initially at point t is equal to 0 when the contacts are open there will be some ionized gases okay so there will be some ionized gases but initially the restriking current or uh, restriking voltage will be zero at this point so as the time passes by it also as the current and the voltage increases the power also increases and when the current reaches zero 
okay at that time the power also reaches zero this point shows that the arc extinguishing process here is the opening of the circuit breaker is the arc extinguishing process ideally if you say the resistance will be infinity or high resistance okay in that case we are able to extinguish the arc in the circuit breaker okay so now what has been plotted with respect to time as the current and voltage increases the power also increases this is the starting time of opening of the breaker and this is the time at which you are going to extinguish the arc okay so this power into time is going to constitute your energy so this energy whatever it is going to be associated with your circuit breaker between your fixed and the moving contact it is going to be generated in the form of heat whenever you are going to have arc arc is ionized gas so a large amount of heat will be there okay and it is at most necessary that this heat should be removed or this heat energy should be removed as soon as possible if this is going to persist then it this just act as a short circuit okay so in this case when the rate of heat removal okay you have to you have to allow the cooling medium to quench the arc as soon as possible either by combining it as a neutral molecule or you are going to give a gas blast of air okay so if the rate of the heat removal it is going to be greater than the rate of heat generation because heat is going to be continuously generated okay but you have to quench the arc with the cooling medium as soon as possible so that when this rate of heat energy removal or the uh, heat energy in other words you are going to interrupt the arc so if this heat energy removal is going to be greater than your heat generation then the arc will get quenched okay so this heat energy process that is this energy balance process of heat removal being more than your heat generation facilitating this arc extinction process is observed in your energy balance theory so with this i wind up today's session in the next session we will be seeing some important terms related with your circuit breaker thank you